What up, guys? Yo, what up, Chris? And what up to Sherelle Barber? I know you're watching this. I know a lot of you are watching this. And I want to explain something to you. I want to explain to everybody, especially my good friend Sherelle Barber, why I will not take back Rebecca May Anderson, my ex, the one who mentally abused me for four fucking years straight. There's a reason I won't take Rebecca back, that I refuse to have anything to do with her. She mentally abused me for four years straight. And Rebecca, I know you're probably watching this. I know you're probably watching it on Sherelle's timeline or whatever. But something, I will not take you back. And you want to know why? You mentally abused me for four fucking years. Almost caused me to lose my family. I lost a lot of friends because of you. A lot. You don't know the fucking hell that you put me through, Rebecca. You mentally abused me. You caused me to lose my friends. Almost lost my family. You think it's fair what you did to me? What you did to me was disgusting. What you did to me was wrong. Hell, what you did in general was wrong. You not only hurt me and mentally abused me, but you took it a step further by cheating on me. And with who? Your own fucking brother. And you think you're a good person? You're not. You're evil, vile, and disgusting. You mentally abused me for four years and then cheated on me with your own fucking family member, which is gross and disgusting. For four fucking years, I put up with your mental abuse. No more. I'm done. I want nothing to do with you, Rebecca May Anderson. I want nothing to do with you. You mentally abused me. You put me down. You made me feel like I couldn't do any better than you. And you know, for a minute there, I honestly believed I couldn't do any better. You say you're a good person, 
And somewhere deep down, I'm sure you are somewhere. But what you did to me was wrong. You don't know how violated I have felt since that day. Because of what you did, I've got so many fucking trust issues because of you that it's not funny. Because of you, I have a very hard time finding someone to be with. And why? Because you made me afraid to be with anybody because I'm always afraid now that they're going to leave me and I'm going to lose them to somebody else because of you. Because of what you did to me, Rebecca, you did to me was fucked up and low and disgusting on every fucking level. And you think I'm going to take you back after what you did to me? You're sadly mistaken, bitch. You are sick. You are twisted. You are vile. And honestly, you are fucking dead to me. You are the fucking epitome of everything that I hate. You did nothing but mentally abuse me and break me down for four fucking years. And let me tell you something. If it wasn't for my friends and my family making me see what was really going on, and God rest his soul, but if it was not for my good friend Mitch Locker from Suicide Silence, I would still be under your fucking clutches. I would still be with you. But Mitch and his music made me realize that you were no good. He helped me realize that I needed to get away from you. And what you're doing by using other people to get to me is wrong. You're using good people like Sherelle to get to me. Well, guess what? I'm not having it. You need to leave me and you need to leave people like Sherelle alone. I want nothing to do with you. And I mean nothing. You don't know the mental issues that I have because of you. The disgusting, vile, low, dirty, degrading things you wanted me to do that I can't even speak about. Do you know how fucked up that is? I'm not taking you back, no matter what. I don't care what you say, what you do. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But you know what? I will never, ever take you back after the shit and the hell. The pure fucking abuse of hell that you put me through. I will not be drugged down into the darkness. Not again. I will not be drugged down by you again, Rebecca. I refuse to take you back. And refuse to be mentally abused by you ever again. Because let me tell you something. My life's been pretty well off since I left you. Since I escaped your evil fucking ways. My life has been great. Granted, yes, it's had its ups and downs, but you know what? A life without you is a good fucking life. Because what you did to me was wrong and vile and cruel in every sense of the word. You don't know 
just how fucked up in the head I am because of what you did to me. You don't know the mental issues, the relationship issues I have because of you and what you fucking did to me. There have been nights where I have fucking had night terrors because of you and what you did to me. Because I was afraid that you would come back for me one day. But you know what? I'm not doing this again, Rebecca Anderson. What you did to me was wrong. You belittled me. You tore me apart. Made me feel worthless. You mentally abused me and broke me down for four fucking years. And because of you, I lost a lot of my best friends in the world. And I damn near lost all my family because of you. If you guys are just now watching the live stream going on, my mentally abusive ex, Rebecca May Anderson, is using her friend, or who is supposed to be her friend, Sherelle Barber, to get to me. And let me tell you, Sherelle, Rebecca is no friend. She's not a friend to you, and she sure ain't a friend to me. She's using you, Rebecca. Sherelle, Rebecca is using you. And if I were you, I would get rid of her on my friends list real fucking quick. Because all she's going to do is drag you down. Into the same level that she drug me down to. So Rebecca May Anderson. I only have this to say to you. Fuck you and go to hell you fucking psycho bitch. You're a fucking psychotic maniac. Who is mentally abusive. You fucked your own brother. And you know you did. You know you did it. And yet you sit there and lie and say that you didn't do it. You don't know the hell that I've been put through because of you, Rebecca. You can't begin to imagine the pure fucking hell I went through because of you. All because of what you did to me. I now have mental problems. I'm always scared to be with someone because of you. I'm always afraid to love someone. I'm always afraid to be with anybody because of you. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why can't you just leave me alone, Rebecca? And why can't you leave Sherelle alone? Why do you fucking go through her to try to get to me, huh? I am done being abused by people like you. You've done nothing but mentally abuse me for the last four years and try to get me back just so you can continue doing it. Well, right now, I'm taking a stand, and I'm saying enough is enough. I will not be mentally abused by you anymore, and I will not let Sherelle be used by you. 
because that's all you do. You mentally abuse people and you use them for your own personal gain. Well, no more. Enough is enough. I'm tired of living in your shadow. And I'm tired of being afraid to be with anybody because of you. You're a sick, fucking, twisted nerd. That's all you are. And that's all you will ever be. Unless you change your ways and fucking stop what you're doing. You don't know the hell that I went through because of you. You mentally okay and broke me down every day for four years. Four fucking years because of you. And now that I'm away from you, I have the best fucking life I could ever ask for. Because like I said, a life without you, Rebecca Anderson, is a damn good life. Because all you did was cause me hurt, pain, agony, mental issues because of you. You don't know the damage that you caused me. Because of you, I have trouble finding someone to be with. Someone who will accept my problems and what I'm going through. You think what you did to me was fair? It wasn't fair. It was not fair to me at all. Because of you, I can barely be with anybody without freaking out and worrying that they're going to leave or do something. Because of you, I'm always afraid to be. I can't be with anybody because of you. Because I'm always afraid that they're going to leave me or cheat on me or hurt me just like you did. You're nothing but a lifeless, soulless monster. And I will not go back to you. I will not be drugged down to your level ever again. And I'll make sure the whole world knows what you fucking did. You mentally abused me for four years. Made me feel lesser than you. Made me feel sorry for things that I didn't do. You made me apologize over and over and over when I did nothing wrong. It was you who did something wrong. It was never my fault. That was on you. You don't know the nightmares that I have at night because of you. You don't know the hell that I go through every day. What I don't understand is why you can't leave me alone. My life is so much better without you. I left you for a reason. I broke away from your evil grip because you mentally abused me and put me through hell. And you wonder why no one wants to be with you? There's a fucking reason. Because all you do is use people and you mentally abuse them once you get them in your clutches. That's all you do. And that's what makes you an evil fucking monster.
Yes, I have a good life since I left you. But mentally, I am very fucked up. Because of you. I want to be able to love again. I want to be able to be with somebody again and not have to worry. But because of you, I'm always doing that. And it's not my fault. It's your fault. And what I want to know above all else is why did you feel you had to do that to me? Why did you have to mentally abuse me for four fucking years and make me feel worthless? I don't understand. What you did to me was wrong on every fucking level. Say I'm a bad person. You're sadly mistaken. I'm not a bad, bad person. I'm the one that's broken because of You think what you did to me was right? What you think what you did to me was fair? Making me apologize for shit that I didn't do wrong. You think that was fair to me? No. I shouldn't have fucking apologized at all because I did nothing wrong. Even when everybody told me that you were bad, what did I do? I stood beside you every fucking minute of every day, believing, hoping, and praying that they were wrong every day. But they weren't wrong. They were right. You are a bad person. You are evil. You are vile. And you're a monster. And I will not have anything to do with you anymore. You don't know the hell that I go through every day because of you. The mental bullshit that I have to deal with because of you. You don't know how hard it is for me to find somebody because of what you did to me. Andrea, if you message me, I will send you the number. Her name is Rebecca May Anderson. She's my ex who mentally abused me for four fucking years straight. So, Rebecca, I hope you're ready. Because you know what? You've awoken the beast. And you know what? I know I said I was going to retire from music. I know I said last night I was going to retire for good. But you know what? You brought me back. So you better be ready for war. And Andrea, message me now, please.